Hello, wherever you may be, this is News Review. My name is Lamin Jai. Coming up on this show, the President of India will arrive in the Gambia to begin a three-day state visit or walking visit. We have a report on that also coming up. Organization, or that is rapid organization, it's, it's putting pressure on urban Gambian communities. We have a report on that too. These and more. My name is Lemon Jai and I'm joined by my co-presenter Fatu Sise who will be looking at the papers. Fatu, welcome and what do we have on the papers today? Thank you, Lamin. The standard headlines are saying unidentified armed men are CID policy. Barrel silent during crisis is harmful to national security. UDP, GDC urge prop into Usman Dabo's death interior premises. Back chairman accuses Sane family of inciting protest. Coach Bono Johnson dies. The lead stories are saying unidentified armed men are CID policy. The sight of non uniformed armed men among law enforcement officers during Wednesday's demonstrations have caused concern and anxiety. The video and image of the men seen clutching onto AK-47 rifles went viral, with many likening them to ex-president Jambe's notorious hit squad, the patrol team, or junglers of the new Gambia. Others call them militia groups. However, many who reserved and delayed their opinions pending further clarifications call onto authorities to explain. The standard last night contacted the police communications unit for explanations and police pro ASP Lamin Jai said the men are bona fide members of the CID of police anti-crime unit who are deployed to help in securing lives and property. Barrow silence during crisis is harmful to national security. Lamin Keta, a Gambian PhD student at Northwestern University, in the U.S. has said that President Adam Barrow's failure to address the nation whenever serious things are about to happen or happening could cause serious harm to the country's national security. Barrow's silence might also portray a sense that he is hiding something from the Gambian people. A good leadership doesn't conceal behind the corridor and use its security to either clamp down on innocent protesters or mediate on its behalf, he told the Standard from his U.S. base. He added that Mr. Barrow must understand that security forces cannot be his mediation team or emissaries in dealing with trouble. He is, he's also saying, I want to encourage President Barrow to immediately issue a statement himself to address the protesters by telling them they cannot afford to destroy this country by taking the law into their own hands, Kater said. Coach Bono da Johnson's die. The football fraternity was hit by a rocket of sorrow yesterday with the death of former footballer and coach Peter Bono Johnson. He died at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, a hero legend who had been ill since Easter Monday. Bono played football from a young age and was among the St. Augustine's High School football grooms who have become Gambia's international stars. He retired from international football in 1994 when he sustained an eye, eye injury in Congo Brazzaville while playing for the Scorpions in 1996 Cup of Nations qualifiers. The point is saying Interior Minister takes torture brutality seriously. Gambia, Senegal and Guinea-Bissau ink MOU to curb drug trafficking. UDP calls for speedy investigations into Davos' death. Gambia, Senegal, and Guinea-Bissau Inc. MOU to curb drug trafficking. The Drug Law Enforcement Agency de Gambia, the Office Central de Repression de Traffic Elicite de Stafian of Senegal and the Judiciary Police of Guinea on Friday morning signed a historic memorandum on Friday, uh, sorry, memorandum of understanding. Between the three countries, this MOU is aimed at combating drug trafficking, organized crimes, and its relative issues. The MOU will enable the three countries to exchange information and intelligence, joint training and border patrols in the flight, fight against drug trafficking and organized crime. Officials believe the MOU is also capable of tactically repositioning their frontline officers in making the sub-region a hostile environment for criminals. UDP calls for speedy investigations into Davos' death. The United Democratic Party, UDP, has called 
for speedy investigations into events surrounding the death of Usman Dabo, a vendor at Serekunda Market, according to a missive sent to the point. The leadership of the United Democratic Party has learned with great distress and indignation the death of, has, the death of Usman Dabo, a Serekunda Market vendor, following his detention and eventual release from police custody. The UDP extends its sincere condolences to the families, friends, and colleagues of the late Mr. Dabo. The UDP urgently calls on Minister of Interior to ensure that a speedy investigation into events surrounding the death of Mr. Dabo. That's all for the newspapers. Over to you, Lame. Thank you very much, Fatu, for bringing us up to speed with the newspapers there. So, the President of India will arrive in the Gambia on Tuesday to begin a three-day walking visit or official visit. President Ramnath Kovin is the first Indian president to visit the Gambia. More on this uh, report on the Indian president's visit, courtesy of State House. For the first time in history, the President of the Republic of India will visit the Gambia. His Excellency President Ramnath Kovin will be in the Gambia for a three-day official visit to sign the spotlight on the strong bilateral ties between our two countries. The first Indians that arrived in the Gambia more than 50 years ago serve as teachers. Today, the Gambia hosts a vibrant Indian community that invests in various areas of the economy. The Gambia's relationship with India is built on solid partnership in agriculture, trade, education and infrastructure, a strong bilateral relationship where both countries mutually benefit. Indians uh, have got to learn that Gambia is a, a safe country, uh, very friendly people, and it's an easy place to set up business. The ease of doing business in Gambia is very, very good. It's quite easy to set up a business. So you, you will find this growing. And now with this visit, I think it's going to go uh, to many more places. Uh, I think India has collaborated a lot with the Gambia, it's, and we have a lot of bilateral scholarships going up with the training of officers from the civil services. Uh, we've had two batches of civil servants who are going for a specific training designed for Gambians to India in the recent past. Indian businesses in the Gambia have continuously enjoyed a peaceful business environment for decades. One of the key success stories of the Gambia-India relations is the training of civil servants, which the country has been benefiting from for years. India has one of the most efficient civil services in, in, in the world. The Indian government agreed to actually provide support to train the civil servants starting from the permanent sectors right down to the lower lower ranks of, um, of, of government. A good number of Gambian students have benefited from scholarships from the government of India, ready to serve the Gambia in various capacities. My name is Kedi Danfa. I live in Tanindi. I hold a bachelor degree in business administration at Nilim University in India. Life there was very easy for us. I, I, I learn how to budget, I learn how to use everything that I'm dealing with. Employment opportunities have also been created for a great number of Gambians working with Indian investors. In Bestwater, we have around 80 to 90 Gambians who are with us. In Superpipes, again, we have 30 Gambians. I've been in Gambia for the last 16 years and it's a second home to me. At the core of Gambia-India relations is agriculture, a sector in which Swami India is striving in creating employment opportunities for Gambians. The historic meeting between His Excellency President Barrow and the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, in London, the Indian Ambassador's presentation of credentials, and now the visit of His Excellency President Ramnath Kovin only signifies one thing, that Gambia-India relations is set for higher high, where both countries will mutually benefit. That report was by State House uh, there, the communication unit at the Office of the President. So now the rapid urbanization in the Gambia is increasingly putting much pressure on land in urban Gambia. The bloating of the already increasing population in the Kanifi municipality, for example, as a result of both external and internal migration or migration is causing habitat and associated problems in Gambia's most densely populated local government area. Mauri Justice Dabo was in Ibo town in the Joswang constituency and he prepared this report. Ibo town is a suburb of Serekunda, Gambia's largest city. 
with a population of about 30,000 people, Ibo Town is one of the areas in the Kanifi municipality most affected by rapid urbanization. According to the 2013 census, the number of Gambia's residents that live in urban areas jumped from 37% to 57.8%, which experts believe highlights how planning urbanization is a priority for the Gambia. Separated from Gambia's capital by a river and mangrove swamps, the rapidly increasing population of the Kanifi municipality is pushing some residents of Ibo Town to the brink. Ibo Town is very good. Je ne sais pas si vous avez des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Vous avez des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Vous avez des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Vous avez des gens qui Like many informal settlements in Serekunda, many parts of the riverine town of Ibo Town are susceptible to flash floodings and disease in rainy seasons. The problem is that most of most of my dogs floating. Me. You know, I'm in Yon, Ibo Town, I'm in Yon, but correct. Since Nyata years, Nyata live in Yon, I don't know, Councillor Hawana, something like the deputy, wife, Munofi, just been changed. Promise, like, yeah, you know, I'm not an artist, but no, no, Jaliba. Them no be way, I'm in Europe, I'm in Yon, 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 i am it is not only floodings that the residents of Ibo Town lose sleep over, but rainy season is a period that many Ibo Town residents dread. Afir otak dia nak sunyi problem buka haba, pas kau on bebah kau ngenyan dimbal pun nyu dimbal yang susu nyu on bida faral nyu ko. Dan agis nebu fever yelale ni fi gudi jadi desona borom asma yang gifi fever bu nekam gifi. Dan kita agis nebu gudi jodoh ni ngah am fever fever bi eketila ni inggal. So kalau fever dan desona belanya am otoh. Pas kau on bina kau wah ibu tangan mune la munu madem. Lo ko fee price buka haba haba baru dem. Dunang gode. Lack of electricity in other areas of Ibo Town has also concerned some residents. Man, me wah ayuni, sama kerma ni. Di pi daw mang ablan, bugai nyu efi nato nyu lemba demas story pol bumak. Tadi lemba demas story pol bumak bilang, man pu common lagi, hamun bumak jen de pol bumak. Tamang yorin jabot, nyingi deni si boru genau, nyingi lendom. Amun nyu kurang, sunya kalai gudi di dem setan ay telefon nyu dem dugu. Lagi man common, hamun bumak jen de pol bumak. Pol bumak dah bun next mabir kerla mana jen, wah pol bumak hamun bumak. Wah, fikir normal mang am ablay ni, mungkin mang kurang. Fikir mang itu sama kalau yang jahat, fikir dalam yang kudu kudu. Kalau lu beri lebih. According to researchers, there is the need for better formulation of national poverty reduction strategies in the country, as both rapid urbanisation and rural urban disparities coexist in the Gambia. Reporting for the Fatu Network News Review, this is Mumbu Justice Dabo. Uh, now, there is no denying that the Gambia relies heavily on foreign fashion designers for most of her local fashion needs. The apparent foreign domination of the country's tailoring industry is linked mainly to capacity constraints faced by Gambians to live up to our tailoring expectations. But with dedication and concerted efforts, all that may change with the graduation on Saturday of 24 students of Club Four Association of the Gambia's Skills Training Center. Jaka CCJ reports. On Saturday, Club 4 Association celebrated the achievement of 24 graduates who completed tutoring and some practical tailoring courses at its skills center in Fajara. Speaking at the colorful graduation ceremony organized for the students who completed levels 1 and 2 of the center's tailoring training courses, Mrs. Fatu Mas Job Njai, a former Minister of Tourism, also the guest speaker of the occasion, said, Today is indeed a red letter day in the annals of Kolob Fuar's development. 
founded in 2011 and uniting a multitude of determined Gambian women entrepreneurs to contribute their quota to national development. The association was able within four years of its formation to establish a skills training center with the objective to impact marketable skills on young Gambian women. She added, Allow me at the outset to congratulate the members of the executive of Clockford Association for the achievements they have registered thus far in their quest to contribute their quota to national development. Allow me also to pay homage to three founding members of the association in the persons of Auntie Aida Sala, Mrs. Kombe Jalo Kaira, and Aminjai, who are no longer with us and in whose blessed memory the Skills Training Center is commemorated. According to Mrs. Job Njai, the graduates should consider themselves lucky. You and your generation should therefore consider yourself lucky that in this day and age, opportunities are made available to you to harness your potentials and to contribute positively to national development. I would like to remind you or to bring to your attention that the opportunities you have today, especially the girl child, was not prevalent in traditional Gambian society. During those days, the majority of young girls were not provided the opportunity to go to school. Or even where they had such opportunity, they ran the risk of being removed from school and married off at a very young and tender age. Speaking earlier, the president of Club 4 explained. Today I stand here deeply honored and I'm humble as the president of Club 4 Gambia Association. Please allow me to elaborate a little about the gesture gathering as we witness the graduation ceremony of our students who have successfully completed their tailoring program. The mic is going. It all started from a group of venturing into a small medium business who came together with the sole intention helping each other uh, as a unit. The idea and the formation of form this association came through discussion and interaction during the trade seminars and other business opportunities organized in the Gambia and West Africa Hawk as part of their effort to promote trade with the U.S. under the African Growth Opportunity Act, AGWA, on this regard. Some of us that left for Senegal through the American Embassy to see how we would form ourselves as one and boost the economy to reduce the struggle of our nation. Thanks to Allah the Almighty for giving us the opportunity and the ability to come together and create the idea which brought us here today. As we would never be tired of saying this, that is with the passion of giving back to our nation and the way our youths are mislead today, led astray. Those who have left school earlier due to inability to afford it. Those that got pregnant. Those who have taken out of school and married of young. And some out of the streets looking for means to make living for their families. These were the reasons that led to the establishment of this training skill center. <clears throat> From there, we decided to help our children, youths, get them off the streets, discourage the girl, child married, teenage and pregnancy, and also the back way to Europe. She said the association is still faced with challenges such as land. We have written to the former and present government with regards to land allocation, but we are yet to hear anything which reminds us at all. Nothing still stands. We are calling anyone who will be able to kindly help us in further aiding us into this to have our own multi-purpose built skill center. The ceremony was attended by Minister of Women's Affairs, Children and Social Affairs, EU Ambassador to the Gambia, among others, and was just up by the police band. Jack CCJT reporting for the Fatu Network News Review.
Now, Mamgur Jazaga, a Senegalese businessman and musician, has said that he plans to stage a big concert in the Gambia. Jazaga, who is visiting the Gambia, sat with Fatou Kamara, where he spoke on a number of issues, including President Adam Barrow and the issue of homosexuality. We will air you that interview now. Network <laughs> Mais Sénégal, le Sénégal et Gambie, c'est un quartier qui doit me marquer. Je suis de les faire. Je suis venu avec le président Baro. Wow, quand on a vu que les gens ont fait la musique, ils ont fait la référence à Tchoubi, qui a fait le site internet, qui a fait la news et qui a fait la musique. Parce que les gens ont fait la musique complète, ils ne peuvent pas faire la affaire internet. Oui, je sais que les gens ont fait la musique business. Oui. La musique. Si j'ai fait 25 ans de carrière, j'ai fait deux ans de carrière dans la musique. J'ai fait deux ans 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 dans la musique. Donc, j'ai fait deux ans dans la musique. Si on a fait deux ans dans la musique, j'ai fait deux ans dans la musique. Si j'ai fait deux ans dans la musique, je veux dire que les enfants qui ont été plus grands dans le Sénégal, ils ont commencé à faire un tour sur le bord. Donc, je ne suis pas venu à la musique, mais je sais qu'il y a un moment où j'ai investi dans une affaire. Je sais qu'il y a des enfants au Sénégal, qui sont venus à l'Amdara, des boîtes de nuit, des restaurants, des sites internet. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui sont venus à l'Amdara. Parce que si on ne l'a pas fait, on ne l'a pas fait. Mais on ne l'a pas fait, on ne l'a pas fait. Et bien vrai que je profite de l'occasion, il est une femme qui a été venue à la maison, mais elle a été venue à la maison. On a vu la transition de la maison de la maison de la maison. Elle a été venue à la maison. Donc c'est ça. Si on est venu à la maison, on a dit qu'il y a des sujets qui sont venus. Donc comme on a dit qu'il y a des personnes, des personnalités publiques, des célébrités, tout ce qu'on sait, c'est qu'il y a des gens qui ont été venus à participer. C'est pour ça qu'on a investi dans les affaires et puis voilà. Et maintenant, on a dit qu'il n'y a pas de médias, il y a des gens qui ont été venus. Donc, comme nous sommes, nous sommes des porteurs de voix, les gens qui ont été venus à la maison, ils 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 ont été venus à la maison. Comme Youssou Ndour, nous l'avons fait. Wow, c'est ça. Vous voyez, vous avez entendu dans les affaires politiques, le temps où vous avez eu l'élection, vous avez vu que vous avez fait une vidéo. Vous avez vu que vous avez eu l'élection, vous avez vu que vous avez eu l'élection au Sénégal, vous avez eu l'élection, vous avez eu l'élection, vous avez eu l'élection, vous avez eu l'élection. Vous avez vu que vous avez eu l'élection. Wow, vous savez, Adi, nous pouvons dire que tout le politique. Tout le politique. Même si on a dit qu'il n'y a pas de politique pour faire des politiques pour faire des CDB. Donc, nous avons dit que Dieu n'a pas de problème, nous avons dit qu'il n'y a pas de problème. Il est correct. Il est correct. Il est correct. Il y a une ambition. Quand on a pris le Sénégal, il a fait un président qui a dit qu'il n'y a pas de problème. Mais il n'y a pas de problème. Mais il n'y a pas de problème. Mais malgré tout ça, il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas. Maki sal nekon bena kale bu nekon tiga nama duko japa le. Yalah dogol ni dem bena mama ni am separasi, muda muti lu bopam. Di mana we live ablay bad wad buy one yep ay projek of kaya kali, me muda ay projek bopam. Oturut ilatu ba bursa familial, kuvertul maladi universal, kaya afer yo hamni Senegal ini nyuci ngi sen bop. Mana dema japa ni, nyinga hamni ko gis nak muda cie adina. Amni nyong hamni yalah sadeng kui saga, bugu nyu saya yalah. Esok kau ramla. Tadi warga Gambia dan Jepun ane tadi bunyi aman kumel ni makis hal dengi konten, pasca saya bung presiden, amul presiden buku genti Afrika pasca jambar la amne yer mende cah askaram, epi mungkin ligai, ni ni muna ni opose, me boy opose ngi opose objektif ma, me kiri fon ngi tu dah ayinan dikuah kas wal dikuah saga wal dikuah ayuah yudeplase, lalu nyun dunyunek 
Nous avons dit que nous j'ai beaucoup de respect pour moi. Parce que je suis un homme qui a 18 ans avec majeur. Donc, je suis un homme qui a 18 ans Et puis, je suis un homme qui a 18 ans. Je suis un homme qui a 18 ans. Je suis un Donc, je n'ai rien contre lui. Je suis un homme qui a 18 ans. 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 Ben un jour, Ahmed Tchou, qui a fait ce qu'il a fait, il a dit que je suis un homme qui a fait un homme. Je suis un homme qui a fait un homme qui a fait un homme qui a fait un homme. Donc, quand je l'ai vu, je l'ai fait un homme qui a fait un homme. Quand je l'ai vu, je l'ai fait un homme qui a fait un homme. Je suis un homme qui a fait un homme qui a fait un homme. Je suis un homme qui a fait un homme qui a fait un homme. Je l'ai fait. Tu chantes très bien, je l'ai fait. Mais trois ans après, il a fait un single. Bataille, il y a le nom du Sénégal. Mais, nous sommes tous les Japonais, et nous sommes tous les Japonais, nous sommes contre nous. Nous avons des valeurs. Nous avons des valeurs que nous devons défendre. Nous devons tomber dans les gaffes. Parce que nous devons dire 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 que Té chau bobu, moi il faut tomber avec ni wah gay pride, comme moi j'ai une couleur anglais. Gay pride. Gay de non def ay affaire ay pour communauté. Lègne nan man ay journaliste signe ou sama septième, ni lag man nan lag ou gise. Té ragal nani, man wah mala mum, mais kenan kudul mum sak signe man lagé, lo ham ni warna ti mano tonto dege bilai wah. Mani len, mum il est jeune, khalala, il est aimé par les Sénégalais, parce que Sénégalais d'une coupe de khalay. Génération bobu baisse, même gambi fi khalay d'une coupe de. Ni pour coupe de. Je veux dire que tout ce qu'on veut, c'est que tout ce qu'on veut, c'est de faire des contre-valeurs, des yaks, c'est qu'on ne peut pas le voir. Le conseil que je veux dire, c'est de faire tout. Parce que si on est en train de faire tout, il faut qu'ils soient venus à l'école. Ils sont venus à l'école et ils sont venus à l'école. Ils sont venus à l'école et ils sont venus à l'école. Ils sont venus à l'école et ils sont venus à l'école. Ils sont venus à l'école et ils sont venus à l'école. Ils sont venus à l'école et ils sont venus à l'école. Et ça, si on est en train de faire tout, il faut que la génération ne soit pas là. Mais c'est ce que je dis, c'est ce que je dis. Mais il faut qu'il y ait un organisme international qui parle d'Oxfam. Ils ont promouvé l'affaire de Gourdjigène. Ils ont promouvé. Parce que si on est au Sénégal, ou si une société qui a des gens qui ont des gens, des Sénégalais, ils ont des gens qui ont des gens parce qu'ils ont des gens proposés pour nous faire promotion. Mmh. Même si nous sommes dans le Gorgi, nous avons une publicité au Gorgi, nous avons une publicité au Gorgi. Parce que quand je suis arrivé, je ne vois pas qu'il y a deux enfants du Gorgi. Je ne vois pas qu'il y a deux enfants du Gorgi. C'est un couple du Gorgi. Si le couple n'a pas de l'argent, il n'y a pas de l'argent. Donc, c'est ce qu'il faut faire. Et nous, au Sénégal, si on regarde 95% des Sénégalais sont musulmans, l'Islam est très bien. Donc, nous, Dengan wara kep kunyau sunu dek puriah aku nyekah lah. Dengan aku man pak, kau man semua wahai ni jadi dengan dulu, mawah ni len, magis benar jurnalis senegal aku hamil dorong lagi oxfam, nyu profesor dah aku malen nak oxfam, nyu dunia nangku sunu dek ken di for publicity afer ugorjigen. Lolo, kau mau mati sa business lah. Pas ke, man neoma diu. Wala masamba, wala madamba gurjigen na, huma lolo, huma kena gurjigen. Dengko kondam dar. Lumo kondam ne moi, yun sunu dek, mandama ai dom, yohamne 17 ans, 18 ans, ba 25 ans lanyam. Duma nangu, yu yaxlen. Donc j'ai le plein droit, manek un personnalité publique, yu lagma, manilen affaire gurjigen. Dunyu nangu kena koko polisi de au Sénégal. Taya kana ne gamifi, ni yu waru yu konangu. Yalah dulu bin dengan aku gur, dengan macam cikin lah bego don. Di sini nyari barom sikim, kau nak yor sesikim macam saya musa. Di sini, 
legi nyonga gambi ya gofi dem ba sigudi nga ñew yaangi ñibi tay mota ñu profito rek nañu am interview bi ak yow yow no gisé gambi xamna ne ya gofi way gis na la bo ni keraba avenue senegal bi area bi no fi gisé no man gambi dekk bu ma neex la parce que nit ñi dañu bax nit ñi dañu dañu nice man so gisé gambi sax ma gëjon fi moy man dama am esprit révolutionnaire té kiko doon jité amna ci ay côté yo xamné man yaay jamé neex na ma fofu xama yaay jamé fan la ma néxé bimu ko gisé mu génn mu né ñaari tabaski bëggu mo mu am fi dama ko apprécier bimu ko gisé mu taxaw mu né ñaari goor yu seydu am fi dama content ci mom mais content ma ci mom le fait que ñuy wax da fay ray ay nit waaw ray bi waaw content ma ci mom c'est parce que da fay jël ay nit mu leen di buntu xatal té comme man damay wax mu na ñew fi journal interviewé mom wax ko waaw fekk do ko jambour la ñew fekk dama ko toy do génn sax lolu mo tax lolu mom mo tax ñew mo fi mo tax doonu mo won ñew fi mais nak ci lu mu doon def amna côté yu ma apprécier amna yo xamné anduma ak mom té nak nit budul joom amul côté nit di ñoo ñew ci mom niko ki bëggul wala ké def la bañ mais même bu la nit bañé war loko ray donc nak lolu mo taxone mu doon gëj gambi mais people lu gambi bi ay nit yu baax lañu té tamit dama gis ni ñom ñepp dañu like suñu football parce que ma ngi gis ni dumay genn gaay ñu ma doon gis ci coupe d'afrique bi kër man ak lion yi ñoo andon ma ngi dejek ay nit ñu may way gis na la kër gis na la ci coupe d'afrique bi ñepp ko doon top waaw donc ça veut dire que ni sénégal ak gambie ben réew la parce que sénégal ak gambie rek ngay dégg ñi wax olof waaw tay ji limay wax fi yépp jarul ñu koy tekkil kenn su génné rek gambie ñi koy comprendre lu may wax donc c'est la même famille ñoo bokku ndey ñoo bokku bay légui ya ngi ñoo wa interview bi ñu jéxal ko fi waye bala ngay dem ban cadeau nga am pour wax ak sénégal bi yépp ci fatou network tam amna following bu bari ñi nga xamné sénégal lañ nekk buñ duggalé interview bi fop lañ koy gis man bu ma défé interview sénégal fop lay ñew buñ ma saggé sénégal nga amna saggé bi dey ñëwé fi top ma xam nga fani fani ma ngi gis sax nga wax ni lool man ma koy wax parce que mo gis ni xoma lan ci affaire wu ñi ma doon laaj ci affaire wu goor jigen yi ñoo ni nga ni wax lool seen life la seen life la deug la mais kenn du nangu kenn di promouvoir lool ci deug parce que yow yalla dafa dogal man mi di wax yow yow man may la man may sa premier fans man dama la like dama ma neex avant ma lay xam te man duma wax kenn dama neex de parce que man dama am fayda mo waxe nit neex na ma rek ça veut dire que ni ki may waxal ni neex na ma te yow jambar nga jigen bu man gor nga ñaari loxo moy takatu bay mais ñaar moy wadu seur dañ la exilé duñu wax exilé xam nañ lañ koy wax ci anglais tok nga pendant ay juroom ñaari at nek lo se rew dem nek ci ben prof ndolo di xex pour se deuk tay ji mu ngi ni ya ngi investir ay jeunes ñu ngi liggey c'est important donc nak yow dañ la wara apprécier dañ la wara jappalé est ce comprendre la ñu yow ñepp la like gis nga même ñu lay saga xana xam lo man dañ may saga chaque jour waaw dama koy gis xam nga mais ñi lay saga ñoñu ñoo la gëna bëgg parce que fuñu gisé sa photo rek dañuy cliquer ça veut dire que ñom ñu ngi def sa promotion parce que kuñ dul saga il faut ngeen comprendre ni képp kuñ dul saga rek xamal ni tek wolo dara de de kay non c'est vrai gaay dañuy saga yalla yalla mo bind nit ñi yonenti bi gaay dañ koy saga yesu christa da ngay gis ñu koy saga wala yow nga ne kenn la saga adina bi nonu la il faut mu am ñuy wax lu bax am ñuy wax lenen mais même ñeneen ñuy wax lenen yow so la neexul wol wala intéressé wu len so waxe duñu cliquer duñ la setan duñ la topato parce que ki wax te kenn du ko commentaire mo ngi nek ci bir armée li ñoyam ya bu baxul kado nak biñuy def moy man dama bëgg comme gis na wa gambie ñu ñu laggé suñu lion yi bëgg na ñew fi au moins ak le ministre des sports wala ma and ak euh l'entraîneur de l'équipe nationale du Sénégal wala ben footballeur Sénégal mu ñew fi dina baax mom parce que ñu ñang bëggé gambie yi lool dina baax mom lool dina baax mom voilà et puis et puis et puis bëgg na fi def nak damay def album bu bess xam nga mais bëgg na ñew def ben concert bu mag nak waaw ah mu ngi fatou show moko organisé bax na bo ñu ngi lay xaar légui bala ngay dem suñu président bi tamit di président adam baro ndax ya ngi top liggéeyam wa adam baro xawma ci mom lu bari mais gis na ni dal euh légui gambien yi légui lañu gëna firi moy jaar na ci ferry bi gis na gambien yi comment xamna ni mom top taw lu bari à part présidence am le conseil nak bi nga xamni peut-être su fekke ni mën na ko ko jox mën na ko jalle fi na gëna jégué population bi 
comprends là parce que nous Afrique l'un n'est que ceux qui te rêvent voir nous là nga ya ka khalis bi voir nous là nga sané khalis bi mais quand elle dégage population bi nga hamni de nous faire pour cent de nga japale l'un vous faites nga japale du question nga yégete khalis nga mai connaît moi t'as dit faire du show ou bien dans une société boumel ni amna une société où mag une activité qui bimou def link bi nga mai convention nga ligue état il y a le Donc, ce conseil que je le président Baro, c'est que je franchement, si je suis en Allemagne, je ne sais pas si je ne pas je ne pas ne si vous faites ça, vous faites ça. 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 Vous faites Mamgur Jazaga there speaking to the uh, speak, speaking to the Fatu, Fatu Kamara, that's uh, the CEO of the Fatu Network there. So with that, we will come to the end of today's show. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.